Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do a quick video on how to change uh, thermostats in my 2009 uh, Yamaha HPDI outboard motors, the 225. need to do is get this cover off this is the top of the motor and uh, it's got a cover on it we got two 10 millimeter bolts on either side and this front uh, part just holding on with some kind of uh, grommets and that type thing so we can get these two bolts off as that loud car goes by This should be a nice, easy install, but I say that, then it's going to come back and haunt me at the end properly. So we're just trying to get ready for the 2023 fishing season. And uh, just trying to do things that I have never done. Uh, like, like I said, this motor is a 2009, and I have never changed the uh, thermostats in this motor. And uh, it's not doing anything, I just, this is prevented maintenance. Uh, just try to catch anything before it does happen. So you want to stay on top of this type of stuff because who, who has $25,000 to replace a motor? When you could have just changed the uh, thermostats and, you know, keep up on the maintenance, that type thing. So that's why I'm doing it, just to keep up on the maintenance. And I like doing it myself because I know it's done to the best of my ability. It might not be done factory standards, but to my best of my abilities, and I'm the only person to blame if something goes wrong. So we got the two bolts out, and the front is, is just held on. And they're on that tight now. We don't want to break it. So once you get the top off here, these are the two locations of the thermostats. So I'm gonna bring it closer for you can see. Okay, we at the location where the thermostat housings are. Like I said, it's one on each side. Uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts also. We should be able to Just take these caps off and the thermostat should be up under them. It does have a prying surface on the back here. I just stuck my screwdriver here in the back. It's got a little lip that you can just, I just, just gave a little tweak with my, uh, my screwdriver. So don't worry about the hammer, just use your uh, screwdriver to give a little torque in the back here. So I'm just trying to be careful. I do have new gaskets. But I'm just being safe with the gasket that's on here. Okay, we got the cap off. And as you can see, this is the thermostat. And the gasket on top here. And let me bring it close, even closer, for you can see what I'm doing with the thermostat. Okay, let's see if we can get this thermostat out of here. It 
it shouldn't be in there too tough. Okay, we got the thermostat out. As you can see how it goes in there, just keep that in mind when you put the new one back in. Okay, looking down in here, I do have a little, I guess you'd call it a little surface rust. I'm going to clean that up down in here and this uh, this surface with the, with the gasket set on, it's still got a little gasket uh, material on the outside of here. So I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to come back. Alright guys, we're back on this motor. I had to take a break. Uh, a buddy of mine came by and I helped him with his uh, lower unit. I put a water pump in. So, But we're back on here. As you can see here, I got the surfaces clean for the actual uh, thermostat to go back. And uh, you got to excuse me, there's a lot of wind today. It's got a little wind noise, so I apologize for that. But uh, like I said, we got this ready to go, so we're going to get our new thermostat here. And uh, this is the part number for that thermostat. And we got a new a new gasket I don't know if you can see that gasket for the for the cup the cap that goes on top of it and the part number for that this uh, for this gasket is that so we're gonna bring it a little closer I tried to tilt the, the engine a little bit for you can actually see down in here and uh, we're gonna put this back together and we'll be done with this like I said this it's not that big of a job. Uh, just just took a little time to clean this surface off the best I could here without uh, scratching the top of it. So let me bring you in before we can uh, finish this job up. Okay, with the new thermostat, like I said, once you get it, all the surfaces clean and, and clean around the uh, lip where this sits in at, uh, you basically just, just drop it in, make sure it's I think it's only one way you can, if you put it upside down, it won't close though. You, you're not going to do that. So we just place that in, make sure it's, it's seated in there good. And uh, we're going to get the, the cap in the gasket. And, uh, the, you know, the gasket just make sure you put it with the uh, same hose line up on the uh, actual cap here. place that down we're gonna get our screws and we're just gonna tighten these down I don't know the the torque spec on these these screws here uh, but when I took them out they weren't that tight so and they awful, they awful small. Like I said, they 10 millimeters, so you don't want to go gorilla on them, trying to tighten them up. So I'm just trying to snug them up right here, right, right this second here, so I can make sure the gasket is aligned with the cap. Okay, that looks good to me, and uh, I'm just going to tighten them to where I feel they're good and tight without snapping them. Like I said, if you snap that off, it's going to be a big deal, so don't go gorilla tight on them. Just ease them down a little bit at a time. And uh, I'll look for the torque spec net for these two bolts and put it in the uh, video once I edit it. So, but right now, that side is good. So I'm going to go to the other side. Okay, here on the other side, uh, like I said, we're going to drop our thermostat in. Make sure it's seated in there good. We're going to get our cap and our gasket.
and I debated about putting Loctite on these bolts. I decided not to. But I don't see if it would be a problem if you did. It just that these are smaller bolts. And if you had to try to get them out, I don't think Loctite would will keep them from coming out and breaking, but I just decided not to on this. And like I said, I I have impact tools, but I don't use them much on stuff like this because I don't want them to snap a bolt off when I'm almost finished. So, like I said, we just snugging them up a little bit at a time. Okay, that's good enough for me. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna find the torque spec to that if. If I do, I will put it in a video, and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, all we have to do is put the cap back on, the cover that goes over top of the engine here, and uh, this job will be complete. guys this job is complete uh, like I said if you just went straight to it and it probably wouldn't take you more than an hour to do both sides you know that's cleaning the gas surfaces of the uh, housing where the uh, thermostat sits in so and I get all my parts I here lately I've been getting them from boat.net they're not a sponsor but uh, they seem to have almost everything you need when you need it so uh, that's a good place to go to get all these parts that I use. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like I said, we're just getting ready for the actual fishing season here. And it's a lot of maintenance that you need to do to your boat to get it ready to go fishing for the rest of the year. So other than that, guys, we're going to be out of here to the next video. Thanks for watching.